What's up guys, War here, and today we're gonna go over the Witch Doctor. Let's get into it. Welcome to the video guys. Today we're gonna go over the Witch Doctor and possibly a really, really fast T16 build that can help farm some levels, maybe farm some, you know, some keys and some, some resources that you're gonna need for next season uh, when we get into it. But, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, guys, we're just gonna do a quick little rift and then I'm gonna show you break down how, um, how everything works with this build the gear and everything that you're going to need so when we get in here gargantuan is going to be casting auto casting locust swarm okay so we're going to summon these gargantuans which you see out now and in there we're just going to basically be running by enemies with spirit walk now when we exit out of spirit walk that's going to be happens when we come across uh champions or if we use an attack like locust swarm okay uh, we have sacrifice because we summon these auto dogs, the zombie dogs, and we can sacrifice them for more damage. And then we have wall of death, which is going to help increase even more damage because we are running the Helltooth set, which is great. And then we got soul harvest for defense. You're going to want to always cast soul harvest every single time it comes up. It's the same thing with wall of death for the increased damage. So let's get in here and do this. Okay. So we're going to get in here. We already uh, popped spirit walk. We're going to grab some some uh soul harvest here and then we're gonna uh, proc wall of death and just let that go and that's it all you're gonna do is see those little locust swarms automatically cast you see it automatically casting as we're running by like the build is is, is like not bad by any means it's it's pretty decently fast for a witch doctor the the unfortunate thing is that the witch doctor is just the weakest class right now so there's not a lot of like things you can do with this class again if it gets if it gets pushed or like buffed that the ring of Emp emptiness will actually proc like that will be fantastic and you can see as we run by it auto cast and a lot of times i feel like when i'm running this build that i i'm going too fast for my guys and everything to keep up you know what i mean so uh, like my pets to keep up but as you can see on there I know it's really fast but you can see the locust swarm being auto casted on everything which is fantastic these gargantuans do all the work for you um, which is just great again you want to always keep wall of death up is it wall of death yeah wall of death up I almost called it something else we want to keep that up at all times now the one other thing that I noticed with the build is that it does take a little bit of time Ooh, I'm frozen. It does take a little bit of time to, um, like, kill champions or elites, um, anything like that. It just feels like it just takes a while, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not really sure why. But, but once it gets like going, they do a good job. But it just, it's a little slow on that end. So maybe if they got like a nice little power buff. Now I'm not a witch doctor main by by any means, but. You know, it, it is kind of nice to see, like, the Witch Doctors start to get something. And hopefully, um, you know, in this update on the 25th or the 26th, we'll actually get something really cool uh, for a pet build for them. Because the only thing we have right now for a pet build is, like, the, what is it, the, the spider build or whatever that's called. Which is great. It, like, it's a cool build. But, um you know, like having a dedicated pet build with this auto casting would be really cool. And you see every time I attack, I come out of spirit walk and you see how fast we are. Like this is, it's, it's fantastic how like how cool the build is. But if we attack, we come out of spirit walk, which is like, it's not the, the biggest deal because we can just get right back into it. Now for single like player damage or like single target damage, it's okay. It does the job. Like it's not too bad. There we go. All right, so we got the Rift Guardian dead, guys. It only took a couple minutes. It's not too bad. Again, like the Witch Doctor build, it's really, really speedy. It's really cool. It has some flavor to it, but that's about it. So um, T16 is where this ends. So Witch Doctor mains, if you like this build, it'll be cool. Hopefully, it'll get buffed and proc the Ring of Emptiness, and this build will be a lot better. I think the, right now on the PTR, um, the highest that the build actually has gotten to is like 135 that's actually not bad it used to be 120 so you know the build still has a long way to go so let's check out everything that you need for the build guys so we're running the full helltooth set the reason that we're running for this is because we're gonna uh, get additional damage every time our zombie dogs or gargantuans hit which is great 
and then after the biggest one is the six set bonus where you cast wall of death and you get a almost 18,000 percent increased damage which is great so we're running five out of the six pieces along with the ring of royal grandeur in the queue for this we also have let me go here and pull this up we also have um the witching hour for our belt guys that's just a solid belt there's there's some other choices that you could use but the witching hour is always good uh, then we have the short man's finger gargantuan summer summon three of them instead of just one big one for increased damage then of course we have ring of emptiness if this actually worked this build would be much stronger because we would get the increased 300 percent damage um but unfortunately because the locust swarm is being cast from the gargantuans like i've mentioned it doesn't proc this so hopefully uh blizzard will fix that um then of course squirt's necklace for double damage into our bracers guys we've got the lacumba's ornament for you to reduce all damage if your soul harvest stack is at least three we can stack this up to 10 which is great so just added defense uh for our helmet we have the quesca cloakal i don't know i'm saying that wrong i'm but butchering it i apologize guys you look at swarm and haunt, uh, haunt now deal their damage in half the normal duration so they just deal damage a lot faster uh, onto our offhand this is a big part of the build is that it allows us to basically like spirit walk for a very long time until we come into con into 20 yard within 20 yards for an elite enemy uh, and then attacks while in the spirit realm deal additional 91 percent damage so while we're not attacking and locust swarm is auto casting this deals increased damage then i opted in for the sacred harvester guys because now that puts our soul harvest stacks to 10 which is great and then we got the power on there where gargantuan spreads locust swarm to any enemy within 16 yards and summons zombie dogs periodically which we can sacrifice later okay so that's the build guys our legendary gems we're using because this is a t16 build we're going with bane of the trap guys for just domination best best gem in the game and then of course enforcer for increased pet damage because this is a pet build and then boon of the hoarder just for more gold and they increase movement speed which is great just to help get around faster um, now inside the cube we have a couple different things you can do the first thing we're gonna talk about the weapon in a second but you want mask of jerem pet steel increased damage which is great ring of royal grandeur because we are running five pieces of the set and then i have wormwood now i have seen people use different things inside here like echoing fury is really nice uh which i was using and then you could do wormwood you could do um ingium if you really wanted to furnace any of those things are good right now until blizzard gives this a buff which is just kind of what it is but we have uh we'll swap that to echoing fury so those are the canaius cube guys the skills of course locust swarm we have this even though you don't have to have this on your skills bar it's just good to have if you just want to like regular cast this for all the damage because it is a very strong attack right now in this build so if you do want to use locust swarm put that on there otherwise you could opt that out for something else we have sacrifice to, to dump a zombie dog for increased damage spirit walk help us get around for increased mobility of course soul harvest for defense guys and then uh commune uh wall of death commune spirits which is great for increased damage and then gargantuan relentless giant uh pretty standard setup for this um if you do want to change out like locust swarm or possibly sacrifice there's definitely some other options this is just what i've opted to to try to just maximize as much damage as possible because again we're not getting that proc from ring of emptiness but you know it sucks but it is what it is which doctors continue to get shit on uh let's go into the uh skills guys we have trial uh tribal uh rights tribal rights i'm tripping today into the skills guys we have tribal rights uh to increase uh to reduce the cooldown which is great uh fierce loyalty when we have these things our movement speed is increased which is awesome and then grave justice uh we get the maximum life and mana and reduce cooldown of all skills when enemies die which is great and then midnight feast the damage of zombie dogs and in, in gargantuans is increased by another 50 percent and we summon an additional zombie dog which is good because we sacrifice them pretty often those are the skills guys you could swap out maybe one of those two for a cheat death if you want otherwise that is the build guys it's a t16 build for the witch doctor um i really hope that blizzard's buffs this or even if they don't necessarily do any more buffs to the build they at least fix where ring of emptiness procs with the new ability for the gargantuans because this would be the best build for the witch doctor and it would be a great just t16 farm build which would be awesome it'd be a great speed build so hopefully they do that but that's the build guys test it out in the ptr and then hopefully it gets changed and gets buffed 
um, but that is the build if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like guys and if you are new here please be sure to subscribe we're pumping out all kinds of the diablo 3 videos so make sure to subscribe guys comment down below and let me know what you think about the build guys and if you are a witch doctor main i'm not so playing builds like this is a little outside of my scope so it's actually really nice to play builds like this so uh i'm a big speed build guy so i enjoy this build hopefully this gets fixed but that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.